I designed aircraft and manufactured aircraft. Composite, not wood. But in thinking about it, it's the engineering properties of wood were so excellent for airplanes. They didn't quit building wooden airplanes because wood was not appropriate. It's just way too expensive. Wood, as a material, has fallen into disuse. It's easy and smart from an engineering manufacturing point of view to make things out of metal, even better plastic, which we can see all around us. Airplanes and bicycles, uh, their material properties share a lot of the same requirements. They want to be light, stiff, long fatigue life, and then there's one feature that wood has that the other materials don't have at all. It absorbs vibration. Well, that's really important in an airplane, which is one shaky, noisy, rattly thing, at least in a piston engine airplane. The wood absorbs a lot of that. So, as a cyclist at the time, I thought, huh, man, that'd be a cool bike. I leaned my bike up against the CNC one time, and I thought, wait a minute, what the hell? Can't I build a wooden bike? Here's the machine to do it with. Grant Peterson was uh, managed marketing and sales for Bridgestone bicycles back in the 80s and 90s. And he had a long article in his catalog about environmental consciousness and the damage that the production of bicycle materials, carbon, titanium, and uh, of course uh, steel, did to the environment. This is way back then he's thinking about that and he's thinking about sustainability, but he's making steel bikes because there wasn't an alternative, but he raised the awareness. The steel, titanium, all of these metal materials are not environmentally friendly at all. Well, rosewood and ebony and a few other woods that are endangered, we don't go near any of that. We use responsible woods, that is, all of our Appalachian woods, they're very sustainable. The Appalachian hardwood inventory has more than doubled in the last 50 years. Most cyclists, when they buy a bike, they buy performance first. If we had an environmentally sound bike that was not a capable, competent bike, it wouldn't matter because nobody would buy it. It's got to perform like a normal bicycle. My son and I started this. It's Latin for I renew. And we're renewing the concept of wooden bikes. Renovo. I can pronounce it. I can remember how to spell it. Our rule was no apologies. If we couldn't make this bike with no apologies for the fact that it was wood, then we wouldn't continue with it.